Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members. Welcome. Hey everybody, welcome. And to my tribe and family at large. Listen y'all, welcome back. Thank you all so, so much for coming back and watching another video, hanging out, rocking with your girl. Listen, y'all, you know Thursday nights are the highlight of the week. I have to say this, every Thursday night we are live 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that's West Coast time, okay? We are live doing it, listen, Come into the Thursday night live streams. Jump in the chat. Let me say hi. I want to see who's out there. I want to say hello to you. Bring a few folks. Listen, y'all. This is where we take our healing. I tell y'all all the time to the next level. This is enlightenment, revelation, conversation. God meets us here every single time. I'm telling you, he doesn't fail us. You want to be here on the Thursday night live stream. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so invite a few folks. I want to see you in the chat. Jump in, say hi to your girl. Every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus. Okay, if you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button for me one time. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> y'all hit that like button. All right, y'all, let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to talk about these birds, okay? I want to really, really talk about the narcissist has to always, listen to me, always be right, okay? They do. Narcissist has to always be right, even when they're wrong. They have to be right. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret about this. So I need you to just hang in here with me. But um, you got to understand this is a very toxic, self-righteous type of behavior that is extremely toxic to any type of relationship. It doesn't matter if it's a, a romantic relationship. It doesn't matter if it's a family type relationship, if it is on a job, okay? If it is a friend, even if it's a business type relationship, anytime a person has to always be right and they can never be wrong, even when they're wrong, they still have to be right. Family, that's toxic. That is very, very toxic. And so I don't think I've really discussed this in particular on the channel. But the reason I want to tell you about it is because it's part of the pathological um, illness that a narcissist has. Okay. And what it stems from emotionally is the fact that they have very low self-esteem. They have very low self-confidence, self most of them. They have false confidence, which is pride. And um, they are highly insecure, okay? So anytime you have all of those things existing in one place, if, you, if it's a person that is a, a manipulator and they want to rule you with fear, pain, and control, and basically you're controlled by uh, pain and fear with these birds... This is something that they will a lot of times do because what they need you to see them as is watch this. They need you to see them as something that they don't see themselves as. Mm, I'm going to let that sink in for just a second. Mm -hmm. That part. They need you to see them as something that they don't even see themselves as. So they need you to basically idolize them while they have while they self-loathe. They hate themselves. They hate you. But they need to be right about everything because they need you to idolize them. They need you to worship them. Okay? And the only way that they can set the stage for that is is by proving to you that they are always right. 
that they always have all the, the, the answers and everything else. Now, it doesn't matter if it's right or not. Watch this. It only matters that you believe it's right. Oh, I'm teaching. Y'all hit that like button, please. I'm teaching. This is the sign of when, when you see a person like this, that's a dangerous individual. That is a very dangerous individual. You can tell a narcissist, you can bring them the proof. You can show it to them. You can put it up on a chalkboard. You can put it on a, on a, a screen projector and project it in a movie theater. Uh, uh, and they the only one in there to see. And they will still turn around and tell you, no, that's wrong. I'm right. When you're dealing with a person like this, this is very unnatural. Okay, it's very unnatural. It's toxic and it's unnatural. And what do I always say? When it's unnatural, that means that it's supernatural. Okay, so basically they can never be wrong because they always have a negative narrative going in their heads. That demonic force, though, that those demonic forces that are playing in their heads. If the narcissist is wrong about something, or you try to prove them wrong, you don't even have to necessarily prove them wrong. But if you go back and try to fact check, some of y'all have done it. And some of y'all going to testify in the comment section. You go back and fact check on a narcissist. You want to see a narcissist go uh, uh, ham, egg, and cheese. Let them find out that you're trying to fact check behind them, baby. Oh! Let me tell you something. That backwards walking giraffe is going off straight off why you had the nerve and the audacity to challenge their truth not the truth their truth you had the audacity to really challenge that you're gonna have to pay for that yeah you're gonna have to pay for that and don't just go ahead and prove them wrong First of all, they're not going to, most of them are not going to even say, well, that's, well, I guess you proved me wrong. Mm -mm. They're going to gaslight you because that's the next order of, of business is gaslighting. Okay. But they have to do it because you chat, when you do stuff like that, when you try to challenge them and prove them wrong and tell them that, no, you're not always right. What you're doing is you're challenging that spirit inside of them. OK, and that spirit doesn't like to be challenged because if it's challenged then what it does is it turns up the ante on the narcissist. It's already a tormenting spirit. Why? Because narcissists don't forgive and they're already angry people. OK, so that means that they automatically walk with tormenting spirits. This is how they know how to torment you. This is why they will wake you up at night. With that uh, sleep deprivation, they will push your buttons all the time. I mean, they always finding stuff to do to, to just push your buttons to aggravate the mess out of you. How do you think they know how to do that? They know how to do it because they have a tormenting entity inside of them that teaches them how to do that. It teaches them how to watch you. It teaches them how to torment you, when to do it, how to do it, and how long to do it. I'm telling you, y'all, I need y'all to hit that like button. This is what they're working with. This is why you would never get, I mean, even when they're wrong, even when the narcissist is wrong, they are right. And you trying to challenge them is a whole narcissistic injury. They can't have that. Oh, no, you didn't try to challenge that backwards flying crow. You tried to challenge that Chinese crested. Oh, you gonna get it. You gonna get you gonna get us you gonna get a pack of premium lies, a pack of uh, gold gaslighting. You gonna get a a, a a pack of platinum projection. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's what you gonna get. Okay, because you gotta understand that that fragile ego is put together on lies, pride, and manipulation. That's what that's what holds that fragile ego of theirs together. So when you go start trying to tap at that eggshell that's around that ego, you gonna get it. You gonna absolutely get it because a narcissist has to always be right, and you have to always be wrong. And they'll tell you that. 
I'm always right. I don't care what you say. I'm always right. Or they'll tell you, I'm, you know, I'm always right. See, that's why I do it this way. And I you just a lying big sack of earth. That's what you are. You are a lie walking and talking, breathing, and whatever else you do. You just Ooh, I'm telling you, it just, it is so, it, it is so unbelievable to watch. You know that you, you like, hey, no, no sane person in their right mind would do this because most people that are operating naturally, that don't have all of these, you know, these demonic forces and these negative narratives going off in their heads, we are able to reason this is and see a narcissist can't do that listen remember you they don't have to be right they just got to convince you that they're right they got to just convince everybody else that they're right it, they, they don't have to necessarily be right see that's how the enemy works you can't go back and fact check you can't go back no because part of the manipulation is you you feeling like they're right because that is what builds that fragile ego and it doesn't present that narcissistic it doesn't make them have that narcissistic injury which in turn doesn't challenge their demons because when you challenge them demons inside of them them demons gonna lash out at the narcissists and when they start tormenting the narcissist that's why y'all see that rage flying out of them because you just hit a nerve but you didn't just hit a nerve you just hit a demon off of me <laughs> You just hit one of them demons off up in there. Y'all hit that like button for me, please. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. You can't deal with a person that always thinks that they're right about everything. You, that's a, that, you, you are lying. The truth ain't in you. You are a liar and the truth ain't in you. That, that narcissist is a lying wonder. Just like the devil. I'm telling you, 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 you will try to talk to a narcissist, try to reason with them, try to tell them, Hey, you know, this, you don't do this or, or, you know, let's just, let, let's sit down and talk about it because I just really don't feel like that's the best way to do it. Nar the narcissist wants to be your God. And they, I told, I said, said that to y'all before, and they probably told you that I'm your God. Everything that I say is right. I'm never, ever wrong. Never wrong. I'm telling you, I've been on this planet, so and so, so and so, and I ain't never been wrong. They're swear by everything. I swear by this. I swear by they swear by the trees. They swear by the grasshoppers. They swear by uh curly wigs, straight wigs. You know, they swear by the road, the stop sign. They swear by on their children, their family. <laughs> They will swear on everything that what they're telling you is the absolute truth. These are just manipulation tactics, y'all. Anybody that, that has to swear on different things like that, you already know they lying. Because the Bible, it, it specifically instructs us not to do that. Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Anything else is from the devil. That's it. Because anything else is going to bring confusion. You don't be swearing by anything. On, on, you don't swear by nothing. But I'm telling you, family, this is what they do. They don't have to, they don't have to be right. You just got to think they're right. The people around them just have to think that they're right. And they have to do that to protect that fragile ego. I'm going to tell you something. I would tell that narcissist, you wrong all day. See, that's why I couldn't do it. You lying, you are, you are a big bag of earth just sitting there breathing, taking up all my good air in this house, using up my soap, using up my, my dishwashing liquid and, and, and whatever else I got going on in the house. I mean, you're just in there exchanging their bad carb, uh, bad oxygen blowing out that nasty polluted carbon, carbon, uh, dioxide out in my house. <laughs> said it y'all hit that like button all of that all of that up in my house and then gonna sit up in there and tell tell you they'll sit there and tell you you a lie call you a lie call you everything else sitting right up in your house eating up all your food you uh, using your water hot water everything else you got in there and won't be won't turn around and put a nickel in there to help you liars y'all liars you mean to tell me you the you the grand pooba now? You just you just all of that. 
You just you you just write about everything because after Jesus came out, you came out next. So you was the next perf perfect one. And the devil is a whole liar. Last time I checked, there was only one perfect and one that never told not one lie. And that was Jesus the Christ, not the narcissist, the messed up one, the trisexual and everything else you want to put put down there with it. Family, I'm telling you, y'all. Please pass this information along. This is why they have to always be right. You'll never be a you don't want to call you don't want to have any type of relationship with a person like this. Period. Distance yourself. Love them from a distance. Even if it's family, love them from a distance. Okay? Y'all share this video. Share this video. I'll see y'all on Thursday night. Okay. Or oh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Uh, and let me see y'all on Thursday nights, please, family. All right. So I love you all. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you all on the next video. And I'll see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.